What's going on, Retro Nation? There's Retro up in the building. Yeah, this video is not for everybody. I know a lot of people know how to do this type of stuff already, but a lot of people have been asking me to do this video. This is for next one. How to add PC games into the system. All right, so we go into collections. Go into your PC area, your PC games. And you, everything is gonna go into the ROM folder. There's three things that has to be in the ROM folder. The game itself, whatever game you're putting in there, the batch file, and the CMD. If there is not a CMD exe in your application, in your um, in your folder, none of the games are gonna work in CoinOps. I mean, you could easily go into the folder and play each game, but they're not gonna work in CoinOps. And this is, to, you know, for it to work in CoinOps. All right, so just gonna leave this page like that because we're gonna need to put the stuff in the ROMs. All right, get any one of the batch files, you know, like I'm gonna put dead falls in there for now. And then I'm gonna um, show you something else after that. All right, so what you do, copy the name of the, the game folder, dead falls, I mean, dead cell fall. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm tripping, okay, click on it. Copy, paste it on the batch file. This is gonna be the new name of the batch file because you can use one batch file to do all of the games. All right, so you paste it like that, so you know, that's how it is. Then now you go edit the batch file. Go to edit. All right, game path. Now, this is where the name of the folder goes and the name of the batch file. You already named them, so it's gonna be the same name right here in between the brackets or the slashes, whatever they call those. Paste it, and that's good for now. Now you go into the game, the folder, and try to find the EXE. It's gonna say application. All right, so in this case, we have two of them. I'm just gonna go with this one. So you copy this name, or you could just type in everything, but I'll copy and paste a lot. Copy. that out and this is the exe this is the way you paste it the application and, and it's between the equal sign and the dot so just do just like that or you can manually manually do it you know by just going back or whatever and you paste that and that's it right there so you made the batch file all right so now the batch file has to go in the rom folder Alright, that doesn't take up no time. This might take a little time, so if you guys don't want to watch this, but this it shouldn't take that long. Or maybe it shouldn't take that long. Alright. It's coming, it's coming. Don't leave guys. We we still here. It's almost done. I know some people's like, I'm gone, that's taking too long. Alright, so now that's in there, the game and the batch file. But now you could go into, uh, this is what I'm going to do first. I, I don't, for some reason, I don't, I don't like going on the game yet. I'm going to go into the um, medium artwork and put the artwork in there before I go onto the system. Because I got the artwork right here. Which one is it? That sells. Alright, so... I think yeah, this is the one I'm using for the logo. I'll replace that. And this is the one I'm using for the cover. And I'll replace that. And I, I think it's the arcade system, so I, I'm gonna use this one for the marquee. I don't have a video yet, because I didn't make a video yet for this. All right, so now let's just go in there and see if it works. All right, let's go. Might take a little bit because I haven't used the next one in so long. And you know, sometimes the computer gotta get warmed up because it is taking a little long right now. Oh, there we go, because it's popped up at the bottom, so we almost there. Oh wow, 
This one we still had Antonio Brown. Brady's doing his thing, going to another Super Bowl. Wow. Don't hate, man. I mean, I'm mad that he left us, but. All right, uh, games for windows. Okay, so we're looking for dead cells. Okay, there it is right there. And that's how you would do it. And let's actually click on it to see if it works. Should work because the batch file is, you know. Yeah, there we go. Once the batch file is done right, everything is everything comes up good. But the batch file, the CMD, and the game has to be in the ROM folder. And everything has to be right. Alright, let me start and select this to get off of this. Alright, cool. Alright, let me show you guys one more little thing on, on the same editing or putting alright. Let me go into collections and go into the same uh, PC games, ROMs again. But let me go to like Mortal Kombat. Alright, so you have Mortal Kombat, the EXE is not on here. And you're gonna have to find it. But I know where it is. It's in binaries. It's in retail. And it's right here. You can either use this one or you can use this one. But this is what you have to do when you're making a batch file now. Alright, let me erase uh, Mortal Kombat batch file real quick. Alright, delete that. I'm gonna use this one out here. So, I'm still gonna just do the same thing with Mortal Kombat. Alright. Copy the name of the folder. That's the very basic start. Copy. Paste it on the batch file. That's the name of the batch file now. Go into edit. Edit the batch file. Remember, the game path is the name of the game of the folder. But this is what I got to show you now. All right, here we go. All right, so now you got to paste that name there. That's the name of the folder. Paste. Boom. Now, the EXE is not in that folder, remember that. It's in, the, in a couple folders after. So now this is what you gotta do. All right, since you know it's in binaries, you gotta copy the name of binaries. Copy. Go back to the batch file. Go right there, put a slash, just like that. In between it, paste binaries. And you got to do the same thing again because you know re retail is coming up. You got to do it like that. And then go in there, retail. Copy. And you got to paste that there. Alright. And I think that was the last folder because the EXE is in here, right? Okay. So now you got to copy the EXE. Copy that and just paste that in the exe area. Remember, it's between the dot and the equal. Paste. And dispatch file is done. But, you know, this is how you would do it if the exe is in a couple of folders. So you have to read through the folders. All right. Cool. Save that. And let me drag that over here. Because it's the batch file now. The game is already in there. Usually you would have to drag the game in there too. Remember it's three parts. All right, so now let's go back and see if Mortal Kombat works. Because it should work because the batch file I just did. So. Yeah, but that's how you, um. go that's how you do it and you know oh, I wish I didn't do that because it takes a little long to load up all right cool all right so but that's the way you do it and you know you could add whatever games you know um, in it just like that and you know you got to put your artwork just like you know my marquee is not in here well, no marquees are in this one, except for the one I just did. Right there. This one. See, there's no video for this one out. But I don't use this system anymore. Well, not that I only use it. I mean, I still use the hard drive and stuff, but I don't really use Next One too much anymore. Hey, 
you guys you guys switch the next two man next two is where it's at next two is um next two is really great man i'm feeling it but um that's it for now and thank you guys for messing with the channel and if i you know if you guys got any more stuff you know i'll uh, if I know how to do it, I'll 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 try. You know, I'll try to show it. All right, that is retro. I am gone. Sending love to my friends and foes, and I suppose.